Hey y'all, dropping off this look just in time for Valentine's Day. So what I went ahead and did was I made the bottom portion a little bit lighter than the top portion and I went over the entire head with the same tone. So that way I can kind of get a two-tone effect with a one-tone or two-tone process. I was just trying to um, shorten up my time and then I was also trying to be a little bit creative too because I did not want to go in and then re-bleach the top of that frontal. I just was I was ready to go y'all. Okay so but once we saturate the hair evenly like I know some people probably wondering like why didn't you just dip dye um you can do that but i just choose to have my color full and even all the way throughout so that takes time and time equals beauty so this is what i'm doing just to make sure it's right the first time and i don't have to keep on going back okay see look at the this is the end result when you do that when you take your time this is what you get okay this is what you get a nice full even color like nothing missing no yellow spots or nothing okay okay so now we finna put it on Y'all know we got to use the grip to do it, okay? It said WhitneyChew.com, and the link is in the description box, okay? I have a clear version, and there's also a sensitive version, which is in the white. This is the waterproof, y'all. I cannot wait until y'all see the end results because this helps me melt my lace. I'm talking about once you use this glue, your lace is invisible. In between each layer, you want to make sure you spread it out really, really thin. Um, and I'm talking about thin. Uh, because you don't want it to not be able to dry you want it to adhere and the thinner the better because you're going to make multiple layers that's going to build and make the strength of the install get this is glue okay i'm a stylist sometimes i get a little bit lazy especially on my head but when y'all see something that's out of place like this hair right here go ahead and get it like don't leave it there because if you do then it's gonna really mess up or it has the potential to mess up the install because you know just just remove it just you see it move it right away okay and also the areas where i'm applying the glue um, at are not sensitive so i don't have an issue with um using the glue along my hairline nor on the cap or anything like that or on my edges also because i use the lace release which is also on whitneychew.com you can find them both in a pair or you can find them separate um but if you find that you are sensitive or prone to um any irritations or something like that you can also use a skin protectant or you can choose to use the white grip option and that is a more sensitive option for a stronghold as well that's also linked down in the description bar if y'all have any questions you can also ask me in my comments when the glue is no longer shiny and it's giving like a matte-ish finish, then it's time for you to go ahead and um, push your lace in, as I like to say. Um, but I don't push mine all the way in for my 13 by 6s because you have to lay them a, a specific way for it to not bunch up first. So I'm just going to kind of roll mine in and you'll watch me do it. If y'all have questions on this or you want me to explain it further, just say that down in the comments again. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Let me know below. Okay? Okay. You give me a superpower. Okay, so once you push that in some, um, we are going to repeat these same steps on both the left side and the right side. And I know you love my earrings, girl. Thank you. I'm going to put the link down in the description box where I got them from. I'm going to also share my discount code with y'all because y'all know I love a deal. But yeah, you'll see me wearing a few more of their pieces um, later on in the video and um, probably later on in the others um, because I was able to get a couple of things that I liked. So just go ahead and make sure you check the link in the description box and um, yeah, use that discount code.
Okay, now for this video, I intentionally did the ball cap made it. I promise you I did. But I used a different type of spray to help my stuff lay. And it did not lay. So I didn't want to redo the cap, y'all. And all I did was just use the grip glue once again to go ahead and save the day. All I'm doing is making my cap super, super flat so that that way I can just have a base or like a, a scalp. Basically, the ball cap method with grip glue. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back um, a little bit further from my hairline because I'm gonna put some baby hairs right here and it's gonna get wet and I don't want them to lift up. So yes, with the grip glue, with five layers, which I'm using on each side and in the middle, yes, your hair is gonna lay. So five layers of strength all the way back. I'm just gonna say, I think I went back about an inch and a half, two inches. Um, that's usually about how far I go. So I know for a fact that nothing is going to lift and come up. Look how thin my layers are. Like that's what I'm talking about. The thinner, the better, okay? The stronger. So on the next side, we're gonna do the same exact thing. And then we are going to tie her up and pin her down. y'all so when i played the footage back i was so sad because i realized that my camera did not capture me doing my baby hairs y'all like it said it, it, we ain't had no space or something like i was like huh how this happened so this is just the process of me parting out my baby hairs um like you know like prepping or whatever just to see where i wanted it to be at where i was gonna swoop it at how i was gonna cut it and then once i figured that out i basically just pressed it in with the pressing cone because when i initially started in the video y'all see i had pressed them back so once i'm able to press them forward and i know where it's gonna go then i'm more comfortable with laying my elastic band around my hairline now when you lay your elastic band around the hairline all that's gonna do is push or melt the glue into the lace a little bit more so that way it's a more secure hold against the five layers of grip glue you got from whitneychew.com through the link down below in the description bar It just wouldn't feel right if I ain't do no middle part. Like if I ain't straight bust it down down the middle. Um, I don't really wear side parts like that. I used to wear them real heavy in like high school, but like just you know, when I got older, I just decided to keep a middle part. Anyway, um, I also I like to keep my hair straight because it's simpler and easier for me unless the hair is longer. But if y'all want me to start recreating some looks, just tell me down um in the comments or something like that, or send me an email. Everything, all my contact information is always gonna be in the description bar and if y'all ever have a question and y'all don't see something just put a 
comment below the video. Like, I'm gonna see it. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the polish pop to the wig while it's holding heat still. Um, and that way it's just going to help with the flyaways and it's also going to help define any partings that you may have on your unit. Um, once we go ahead and finish with that process, we can either, now I personally like to leave my baby hairs in for one day, um, but then I go ahead and comb it out because that way I know for a fact my stuff is gonna hold and lay, but you can go ahead and comb your baby hairs out out if you have used the foam party for a softer hold like i said i just prefer mine to be left in for an entire day before i decide to go comb them out or something like that because i don't want them you know what i'm saying like too fluffy so and i also don't like them crunched up that's the best part about foam party foam party will not leave your hair flaky crunchy or nothing like that like i'm trying to tell you shopwhitneychew.com oh yeah and don't forget to follow my socials follow me on instagram at i am whitney chew that's in the description bar too and don't forget whitneychew.com because that's where all the girls be at because i already know you didn't like share it and subscribe to the channel <laughs>